How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? We have got ourselves here a Clone Wars trailer. Now, I didn't actually know there was another one coming. I thought that teaser was just it, and then we were just going to be told whenever the series actually came out. So, I'm excited to see what it offers. I'm excited to see what it contains. And, yeah. Let's just get into it, shall we? And I'm really hoping... I know they've said it will tie into Revenge of the Sith, but I'm really hoping... It ties straight into Revenge of the Sith. Like, you know, it plays the episodes are happening as the film's happening. That would be so good. Because, let's be honest, Order 66 is one of the best moments of the saga. Well, you know, I say that like it's a good thing. One of the most devastating moments of the saga, you know, and it was probably the turning point. So, I'm, I'm hoping that they flesh that out a little bit and they expand on that. Not in a game <laughs> or in a book, but with a bit more of a connectivity on screen, you know? So, no wasting any time. Let's get into this. May the Force be with us. Oh, Sam Whitwood does a brilliant job of voice acting. Will be remade. CG Mandalore. Episode 2 reference, I think, now. The Jedi and Republic. Ooh, look how clean that looks. Since a plot to destroy the Jedi. Great care we must take. I think Darth Maul is probably going to find out would anyone walk what the away plan is. Being a Jedi? We were trained to be keepers of the peace, not soldiers. I have missed the show. We clones have mixed feelings. Rex versus Cody. Make it happen. Without it. We wouldn't exist. All part of the plan. Mm. The plan. Ah, trench. Everything is about to change. Another thing that's ending, you know? How many things are we going to finish up this, this year just gone? Oh! Yeah. Tie straight into Revenge of the Sith then. Every choice made has led to this. This duel will be good. Oh. Oh! Okay, now. Okay, no, this looks good. That look good. That look good. That look really good. That look really. Anything. What I like about it the most is the connectivity. Like you see the shot of Windu and Kenobi there. It just reminds me so much of the Geonosis Arena in Episode Two, and you know the way they're back to back. Um, Ahsoka and Maul going at it. It add. It gives context to that um, scene in Rebels where you know they're bantering back and forth over past rivalries between the both of them. So obviously this is going to set that up. Um, Darth Maul's torturing one of the clones. Now, I'm pretty sure that might be... Is it Jesse? Or I'm, I'm not sure. It could be Kix. It's one of them two. Correct me down below in the comment section if I'm wrong. Um, I'm, I'm sure it's one of those two. It ain't hard case. He died in Umbara. Um, but <clears throat> it seems... From what it seems like, he's going to be finding out the plan of Order 66. And he's going to tell Ahsoka. And her and Rex are basically going to do a bunk before it all goes to hell. And I can see Rex and Cody going at it because one of the missed opportunities of Rebels was Cody. Like, where was he? So that means if he didn't appear, and then there was that episode where it was very Clone Wars based and Rex was having like PTSD and then he screamed Cody. Maybe. What if Rex had to put Cody down? It was the only way he could go escape. And then Cody's chip goes, you know, haywire in episode three when he fires on Obi-Wan. And then what if, you know, it leads to a confrontation between them? I'm hoping, because <coughs> there was a deleted scene um, or an unfinished scene between Boba Fett and Cad Bane. I'm really hoping that we get something to do with that. I'm really hoping because that, that would add so much to Boba Fett's character. Because to me, he's just the guy who got killed by a blind man. Like, I like Boba, but Jango Fett is where it's at. Sorry. 
Just just throwing it out there. Jango Fett killed a Jedi Master in seconds. Took two Jedi Masters on, pretty much. And, well, he got to Windu, and then he didn't live to tell the tale. But, you know, it, it, he still put up a bit more of a fight than Boba Fett did. Um, but even so, this looks good. I'm looking forward to what this series is going to bring. And another thing that's ending. I mean, we had Endgame last year. You know, we had Arrow just finish up. We had the Skywalker Saga just finished. I mean, <clears throat> you know, I had to... even Game of Thrones last year. So many things are ending. It's it's crazy. But, you know, commencement, the end of one thing, the start of something else. Uh, guys and girls, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of the trailer. What was your best moment in this trailer? What was your favorite moment? And I'll probably do a breakdown maybe later on tonight. Um, I've got to go to work soon, so probably in about maybe eight hours i'll do a breakdown and then i'll just be going over the <clears throat> trailer in a, probably a live stream and just talking to you guys uh highlighting key points and bits i liked and just discussing a bit more with star wars fans about it so until then i'll see you on another video soon and may the force be with you always also let me know down below what did you think of rise of skywalker did you like it did you not have you liked mandalorian so far are you a fan of baby yoda you know the magic hand thing and yeah, you excited to see where Star Wars is going next? And I will talk to you soon.